With just 70 days to go until the U.S. presidential election, candidate Kamala Harris received a surprising new endorsement. In an open letter published today, more than 200 staffers for previous Republican lawmakers pledged their support for a Democrat to take the country's top seat in the White House. Emily Taylor joins us live in studio. So, Emily, what is in this letter? Well, Nicole, the open letter acknowledges there are some ideological differences between the signatories and the Harris ticket, but they say the alternative of having a second Donald Trump term is, quote, simply untenable. Kamala Harris is reaching across the aisle with her latest endorsement. 200 staff members who worked for both Bush presidents, the late Senator John McCain and Senator Mitt Romney, all Republicans, signed an open letter published today, jointly declaring that they'll be casting a ballot for Harris on Election Day. They write, of course, we have plenty of honest ideological disagreements with Vice President Harris and Governor Tim Walz. That's to be expected. The alternative, however, is simply untenable. They call on their fellow moderate Republicans and conservative independents to help bring a Democrat to the White House. The historical Republicans who are weighing uh, whether or not they can support a Democrat in November when they see so many other Republicans and so many former Trump voters say that they will not be voting for Donald Trump in November. I think it can be very persuasive to getting these swing voters votes and getting them to vote for Kamala Harris. A Trump campaign spokesperson called the letter hilarious because nobody knows who these people are. Harris and Walls will sit down with CNN Thursday evening for their first primetime interview since her campaign began. Hello, everyone. This is your favorite president, Donald J. Trump. Meanwhile, Trump has been busy launching a new set of digital trading cards. Each physical trading card has an authentic piece of my suit that I wore for the presidential debate, and people are calling it the knockout suit. I don't know about that, but that's what they're calling it. Trump's also courting lawmakers from across the ideological aisle, adding two former Democrats to his transition team. And don't you want a president who's going to get us out of the wars and who's going to rebuild the middle class in this country? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will become an honorary co-chair of the team after the independent candidate dropped out of the race and endorsed the former president. What Robert Kennedy's endorsement really means is the Kennedy Democrat Party, which my grandparents belong to, is no longer with us, right? Kamala Harris killed it. Following a rally in Michigan today, running mate J.D. Vance said he wasn't sure what RFK's role would be just yet. Look, I, I think the role that, that I'd love to see uh, RFK play is, I mean, this is what the transition team fundamentally does is advising the president on making critical selections for who's going to go in the government, who's going to have an important advisory role. And former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who only just four years ago ran for the Democratic presidential nomination, will co-chair with RFK. I invite you to join me in doing all that we can to save our country and elect President Donald J. Trump and send him back to the White House to do the tough work of saving our country and serving the people. After some back and forth, it seems Trump has finally agreed to go head to head with Harris in the next presidential debate, September 10th. In a post on his Truth Social, he says ABC will host and the rules will be the same as the last debate with Biden on CNN, which likely means that microphones will remain off between questions.